today we're gonna make a drink that a lot, lots of Mexicans uh, drink. It's called Choco Mill. Um, basically, it's Milo, some sort of chocolate powder. We're gonna use like a, we're gonna do a healthier version of a Choco Milk, but usually it's just some sort of like Nesquik chocolate powder, uh, milk, bananas, cinnamon. Um, so we're gonna make the healthier version of it by using actual organic cacao powder, um, or your, oh, this isn't organic, fuck, oh well. Um, cinnamon, we're gonna add Moringa powder in there. Uh, oat milk, um, there's a little bit left in here of this oat milk that I've already put it into the blender. We're gonna add some Greek yogurt and a little bit of protein powder. And these are any bananas that we have frozen. Of course, we're gonna, choco milk is not choco milk without it being icy. There's a dog here. Come here. Letting me know that the Amazon guy's outside. Okay, get out of here. Now I have to wash my hands. All right, so we're adding the ice. So I added three scoops of Greek yogurt was not recording. Um, still getting used to the YouTube thing. Typically, choco milks will not have yogurt in them or just milk, but we're trying to, you know, do it a little bit fancy. Starting with this organic protein powder. I think it's made out of pea protein. Um, we're just gonna do half of a scoop of this. Uh, maybe a little bit more. And throw in some cinnamon. We're gonna top it off with cinnamon. So, that's good. Moringa powder, so. Again, would not go in choco milk, um, but we're just trying to improve our our health here. It regulates blood sugar, rich source of vitamins, improves circulation, lowers cholesterol, improves digestion. Um, this is what it looks like. It's not pure moringa powder. It is kind of blended with oatmeal. So not the highest quality, but Moringa powder is pretty expensive. Got this at it. You can get this at like any Latin store. I'm just gonna add that much. And lastly guys, the star of the show, cacao powder. Hefty scoop of this. Another scoop should be good. And one actual, one more ingredient, dates for sweetness. So there's three dates. Typically I just put two dates in there, but there's three last dates in here. So I'm gonna pit them, throw them in there. Pitted dates, I'm already eating some of the pits. Well, not eating them, but I'm getting some of this date off of the pits. This is for fiber, this is for sweetness, for substance. We're gonna need a little bit more ice and a little bit more oat milk. Should be good right there.
Whoa. Oh, shit. Whoops. Okay, maybe I should have added more milk. Let me clean this up. We are not gonna waste this. Oh shit. Yep, that's good. Very Mexican thing is a choco milk. <clears throat> and this is a pretty easy way to make a, a healthier version. Cause like I mentioned, it's either Nesquik Milo or some alternative chocolate powder. There's different names of it. Um, there's, there's one that's, it's a blue one with like a little kit on there. I think <clears throat> anyways, Really good. I added a little bit more oat milk because it needed to be a little bit more um, like drinkable, not so icy. That's why it plopped everywhere. But really good. A lot of people will drink that as like the start of their day as their breakfast. You know, it has a banana, dairy, it's like substance. So it's good. And um, there's really no recipe for it. Those are the ingredients. And in Spanish, there's this term, al gusto. So <clears throat> meaning to your liking, put a, if you like it more cinnamony, put more cinnamon. If you like it more yogurty, put yogurt. If you want, you know, more chocolate, put more chocolate powder, more bananas, put more bananas than what I did. <clears throat> less icy, less ice. Um, but however you want it. <clears throat>